can see there's like some plastic and stuff in this rock. This was like 30 ton of rock we tore out of a site. Just go to Angular Rocks, we brought it here, just kind of put it down as a base, go through and pick up all that plastic. But everyone's gonna come in here, park right in here. I didn't want it, I want it so that everyone doesn't have to go forward and back, you know, Jimmy around a bunch. So everyone is swinging there, park. And then this will be like a one way exit road where they can swing in, park, and then loop all the way here. So then they can buzz all right here, swing out, and go off to the races. So. All right, let's uh, let's spread a lot of gravel. You may have noticed how high the fan is running. Yeah, it was about 100 degrees and sunny, so the skids are working pretty hard. Got three full-size machines moving dirt here now. I moved all this top soil. You can see where these guys are. All this was, all this was uh, this black dirt here. So we moved all that. We're gonna have all the employee parking here. Everyone's gonna come in this main road here. Come in from the road. Come in here, and then swing in and park. Swing in and park here. Um, swing in and park there with their personal vehicles, and then all the other work trucks will be parked in here. So it's uh, should work out well. Should work out good. Got, got the wheel machine packing it here, the track machine spreading it to get a lot more level. The wheel machine with the full bucket of dirt, uh, going over it a billion times to pack it good in the start of the rock. inches, by six inches of a class five, and then about two, three inches of a three quarter inch granite, class two granite. So we're getting a good hard base and then put the granite on top so, so it's hopefully uh, not dusty. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty big area. It's gonna end up being like 140 by, 140 by probably 120 to start. And then we got a little finger grease here all pushed out. Put a couple storage containers there to keep stuff out of the rain and out of the rain and whatnot. Um, we'll slide a couple Inside a couple of storage containers, they're like sea cans. But uh, yeah, overall today was a good day. We got a grading and sod job done up river, stopped in a couple boulder walls, and managed to get this. A lot of progress here, so that's uh, overall is a good day. Like I said, we got the track machine spreading it and packing it, and then the wheel machine with the full bucket. Going over it. I got a big drum roller on the front packing it would be better, but this works for now. That's what we got, so we're making it work.
All right, guys, today is July 15th. We got some little, uh, you can't see it here, we put this nice long berm right here, so we got some material storage there. Just gonna give you a quick walk around of what our shop looks like for now. We are hopefully gonna be building about May next year. So this is kind of the front. A couple of the guys are getting here, getting things fired up. Six o'clock, usually you roll out here by 6.30 at the latest. So this is the road coming in. That's where we come out. I didn't want it so anyone ever had to turn around. So we come in here, got about seven, 800 tons of base in here. We got it all set up where all employees come in, pull in, park there, it's been working great. Got uh, fuel there, garbage. I never did take out your garbage. Dump trucks there, little bench, another fuel tank, portage on. All the guys, uh, some of the equipment's here. A couple storage containers, um, some miscellaneous so everyone can pull in here and park and then pull right out pull right out that way um, without ever to turn around it's uh, so far it's been uh, working it's been working out really good so all right just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on uh, where we're at with this <laughs> 